a very warm and pleasant good morning to all my dear students i hope you all are ready for your english class students today we will start chapter 13 great achievers in this chapter we are going to study about some common women achievers who received nobel prize for their outstanding performance in the fields of chemistry physics literature economics medicine and peace the nobel prizes are awarded by royal swedish academy of science the swedish academy the karolinska institute and norwegian nobel committee to individuals who make outstanding performance in all these fields so let's start and learn about famous women achievers and first we are going to talk about mary curie mary curie she was the first woman who received nobel prize in physics and chemistry she won nobel prize in physics in 1903 with her husband perry curie and chemistry in the year 1911 even her daughter irian joliet curie she also won nobel prize in chemistry in the year 1935 making the two only mother daughter pair to have won nobel prizes mary curie she was a polish french physicist and chemist famous for her pioneering research on radioactivity she was the first lady who received nobel prize for physics and chemistry her achievements included a theory of radioactivity techniques for isolating radioactive isotopes and discovery of two elements polonium and radium mary curie her full name was mary sklodowski curie she was born on 7 november 1867 in warsaw the capital of poland both her parents were school teachers and she was encouraged to study physical science by her cousin joseph bogoski joseph bogoski was the director of warsaw museum of industry he allowed her to perform the experiments on physics and chemistry on the weekends at the museum and her dedication brought her fame fame means she became popular because of her strong determination Next we'll study about Pearl S. Burke. Pearl S. Burke was an American writer who spent most of her time in China. Her novel The Good Earth was the best selling fiction book in US and she won Pulitzer Prize in 1932. In 1938 she became the first American woman to be awarded with Nobel Prize in Literature. for her rich and truly epic descriptions of pleasant life in china and for her biographical masterpiece so she was the first american woman who received nobel prize for literature and uh, she has written uh, epic descriptions of pleasant life in china and for her biographical masterpiece she was highly committed and passionate about a range of issues committed and passionate committed means strong determination when somebody has decided that she will do something so she will do it so committed means to give a promise to do something and passionate means to have a strong emotional feelings for that work so she was highly committed and passionate about a range of issues that were ignored in her generation she wrote on a diverse variety of topics including women's right asian culture missionary work and war so that was her contribution pearl s burke next we will study about mother teresa you all know mother teresa she was a famous catholic nun saint teresa of calcutta and she was born with the name of agnes gonoxa bozoxia was a roman catholic nun 
of Albanian ethnicity and Indian citizenship. She founded the Missionaries of Charity in Kolkata in 1950. For 45 years, she was taking care of poor, sick, orphaned, orphaned and dying. She received numerous awards, including Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and Bharat Ratna Award in 1980. She was awarded for the work undertaken in the struggle to overcome poverty and distress which also constitutes a threat to peace. When Mother Teresa received the prize, she was asked, what can we do to promote world peace? She answered, go home and love your family. Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity at the time of her death had 600 mission, 610 missions in 123 countries, including homes for people with HIV or AIDS, leprosy, tuberculosis, orphanages and schools. So this was a contribution given by Mother Teresa. She was, uh, she worked for the betterment of poor people, orphans, sick and those who were dying. And for that she received Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and Bharat Ratna Award in 1980. And when she was awarded with the Nobel Prize, she was asked, what can we do to promote the world peace? She answered, go home and love your family. She also uh, uh, founded the Missionaries of Charity in Kolkata, where she had 610 missions in 123 countries regarding providing home for the people who are suffering from HIV or AIDS, HIV AIDS, leprosy, tuberculosis, orphanages and schools. So I would like to end today's session here. Next, regarding other personalities, Meera Shankar, Ms. Tawakkul Karman, Simon Tata, Malika Srinivasan will read in the next class. Till then, you revise Marie Curie, Mother Teresa and Pearl S. Burke and write down the word meanings and question answers in your fear notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.